trying to give 120% effort. That's beast mode, guys, because you are not the only one chasing after your dream. You think you you think you're the only one in this school that's aiming to get a 4.0 GPA? I'm like like I'm just gonna keep it real. There's what uh, 2,000 kids here, and I'm betting you almost half those kids want the same goal: get get a 4.0, get an athletic scholarship, make it into Broadway theaters. So you're not the only one that wants your goal. And talent or hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I know y'all have heard that before. And when there's 100 people chasing after the same goal, everyone's gonna have a 4.0, everyone's gonna have a 1600, everyone's gonna be talented, but, but what's that extra thing that's gonna separate you? And what's gonna separate you is this 120% effort. Because your opponent, I mean, they're, they're gonna stop studying at 11, but you gotta, but you gotta stop at 11.01, like, like, like you gotta stop after they stop because you're not gonna give up and you're not gonna give in. And, and the fourth one, give success a chance. I, I still remember, I went up to my counselor and I said, hey, like, I, I can't give high school a chance anymore because cause it's like, it's, it's not my thing. And she said, but why, but why don't you give it a chance? Like, why don't you give success a chance? Why don't you stay in high school, graduate, and go, and go to a college, community college, a big college, Ivy League, it don't matter what. So my fourth thing is, Give success a chance. You're always thinking about failure. You're always saying, oh my God, what if I what if I get a 65 on this test? What if I fail this test? But the question is, what if you pass this test, right? What if you get first place in that com com competitive event? What if you get first place, or not first place, what if you get a 4.0 GPA become valedictorian of your class? And so this sums up all my lessons on how to go from adversity to success. You need to start giving success a chance. And this concludes my presentation.